All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to another live, live episode of uh, FD Global Properties. My name is Fahd Daud, and we're going to be talking about uh, Dubai and Dubai's real estate, okay? And how you might uh, be able to come into the market and be able to make some money, do some good investments, and grow your investments at the same time. All right, guys, check this out. One of the things, so guys, if you have any questions, so let me just welcome everybody who's joining in. Thank you very much for joining, guys. Uh, tons of people coming in. Uh, Richard, Rich Rack, Matullo, Arif, Oviz, Oviz, Nafis Abbasi, um, Arjaf, Gaval, Aditya, Bajaj, Ayaz. Guys, we're, we're live both on YouTube. Uh, Amir Smart, we we like both on YouTube and on Instagram. So you can post a question anywhere and I will do my best today to answer, okay? Uh, the earlier you put the question, uh, the more chances you have that I will answer your question. Now, just to let you know, in the coming podcast, not the coming podcast, the, the coming live, maybe about two weeks from now, we're going to be taking live questions, okay? Live questions. I'm going to be giving you a mobile number uh, where you will be able to um, ask me a live question. We'll, we'll dissect your real estate problem. If you're an investor or if you are um, not even an investor, you're like a real estate agent. Like, you know, if you're a real estate agent, you're also very important for me because you're my community, bro. Uh, okay. I hope you're doing well. God bless you. You are a motivation. Jane Sahab, thank you very much. Barakallah. Hi, sir. Hope you Ayaz. Hi, sir. Hope you're doing well. I requested before need to join. So what's the procedure? Please guide me. Jazakallah. Uh, the procedure is not very complicated. Go to my personal account. What about my FD Global account there as well? They can uh, just there's a WhatsApp number. There is a link tree, a link for you to apply and you can join. All right, guys. So so yeah, so it's very easy, right? Just apply and then if 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 possible, capable, if we're all a good match, uh, fill up the form and then we'll get in touch with you. Okay. Nishan Dugal, Sayyid Khadir, welcome. Yas Kamal, Sheikh Wath Mami. Okay, welcome. Guys, listen, I want to talk about, I want to discuss with you, okay? Umro, Asalaamu Alaikum, Wa Alaikum Asalaam, Akhi, yes. Check this out, guys. I want to discuss with you areas in Dubai that generally don't get discussed, which means that there is opportunity over there okay check this out right guys listen you guys have to remember let, let's discuss a very basic principle and this is not my principle i learned this on the internet through youtube through instagram there's this young girl uh, or a girl rather she does a lot of investments in real no she does a lot of investments in businesses okay and obviously she's got a point she te teaches others how to acquire good businesses so she talks about this and she says look check this out how many people generally can invest in real estate. If you look around, right, everybody who's got a little bit of money can almost pretty much wake up in the morning, call a few realtors and buy some property. True? Agree with me? Yes, that's true, right? So when an opportunity such as buying a property is available to such a large number of people, all you need is a little bit of money, because it's available to t so many people, generally speaking, what happens is the reward is commensurate. It's inversely proportional, okay? When we say inversely proportional, it means the larger the number of people the opportunity is available to, the reward is inverse inversely proportional, means it goes down. It goes down. It goes down. If an opportunity is available to less number of people, the reward actually goes up because it's less number of people sharing a larger, larger reward. Like think about this, right? How many nationalities invest in Dubai? There's 200. But what if you were the only person or the only person from one nationality could invest in Dubai, but all other things remain the same and the opportunity remained the same? You'd make a lot more money, but everybody can come, everybody can invest. Therefore, the reward gets shared. Of course, things were different in the early days of Dubai because Dubai was a risky market back pre-2008. So if you took the risk, the rewards were extremely high. So were the risks. Now, if you look at, if you look at business, if you look at business, 
how many people can actually go and run a successful business? Because business requires you to have a great idea or a good idea at best, at least an idea, capital to invest. Then you should know how to run finance. You should know how to run marketing. You should know how to hire people. You should know how to do sales. You should know how to manage cash. You should know how to manage legalities, so on and so forth, right? So now all of a sudden, you've got to be a perfect specimen. People go to school to, an, to do an MBA, for two years and they specialize in marketing. But now you're expected as an entrepreneur to do very well in all of these areas. So you're supposed to do um, well in marketing, sales, finance, HR hiring and firing, terminations and promotions, developing a team, and then all of the uh, hiring an idea, executing and so on and so forth. Now, because there's fewer people who can do business very well, the rewards are very high, and that's why I always tell people, even in the, f in, the, in the first book I wrote, The Intelligent Real Estate Investor, and you can download it, if you really want to make serious money, do go do, your go do a business. If you've got an idea and you know how to run it and you can do it well, you're going to make more money there. Done. Now, guys, how about we match up business and real estate together? That's where the opportunity comes, okay? You've got to think about where in Dubai, if you're only considering Dubai, where in Dubai everybody else is not investing. And then why are they not investing there? And then if they're not investing there, is there an opportunity there? So I want to share with you five such places. All right, guys. All right, check this out. All right. So let me just all welcome everybody else who's joined. Hassan. Maria, Nishan, Youth Rise Awake, Arif Deccan, uh, okay, cool, Tabish, Babur Nazir, Bilal Khan, Coolio, Mr. Hassan, Faris, Husa, Shoei, Beanish, Baba, oh wait, guys, a lot of guys over here, thank you very much for joining in, guys. Uh, Nishan, I see your comment, and I'm going to come to it right now, okay? Let's take one of these areas first that I want to identify. Guys, listen. Al-Quds, 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 Al-Quds is that one of those areas in Dubai. It used to be an industrial area with a lot of uh, labor camps, a lot of industrial things happening over there. It's kind of gone, oh, it's kind of gone, um, it's kind of like the last uh, 10 years, gone through a renaissance, like a rejuvenation, right? So the place has redeveloped with art galleries, art deco, furniture stores, um, very cool chic cafes um so the kind of place where people of a different generation now visit okay so what's the opportunity there right the opportunity in Alkuz is to match business with real estate so even though Alkuz is not a place where you could actually go in and rent a place and then um buy a place sometimes because it's all actually sometimes it's leasehold sometimes you, it's not free so freehold what you can do is essentially speaking you can think about this okay get a space so this is a concept that happens in london right and it's in dubai as well a dentist will open a dentist studio and rent out rooms to other dentists who want to practice dentistry and then just charge them a fee art galleries you could choose that you could see if you take on the business model of generating the traffic and then rent out the space to other people that you've rented, like let's say you rent out a massive space of 10,000 square feet and then rent out smaller studios to art peop art artists, that's where you guys can make money. Do you guys, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying, right? All right, okay, I think you are. Let's take some questions here, okay? So thank you very much, everybody else who's joined. Nishan's asking me, any comments about Arabian Ranches 3? I think I've mentioned Arabian Ranches 3, okay? Arabian Ranches 3 is a good community, okay? So, guys, when we when we do comments, or if you're looking for advice, let, let's go back, okay? Let us let let me explain to you how I do evaluations. So let's go and look at who the developer is, okay? Arabian Ranches 3, who's the developer? Imar, right? What's Imar's reputation? Great, they deliver amazing communities. They've actually delivered 85,000 plus villas, houses, townhouses, apartments, offices, hotels, so on and so forth. And with every single apartment, every single community that they deliver, they just keep getting better and better and better. So what do we expect them 
and what do we expect from them with regards to uh, this particular community? It's going to be a great community, right? When it comes to community, it's going to be one for the wonders. It's not going to be, it's, it won't let down anyone. All right, number one. Number two, after the success of Arabian Ranches 1, which had the golf course, Arabian Ranches 2 did not have those big anchors that would call people out to be like, you know, here's a special community. With Arabian Ranches 3, they've done a few special things. Like, you know, so they've got the rivers flowing through. Then they've got the designer houses in Ara Arabian Ranches 3, so on and so forth. So in my personal opinion, Arabian Ranches 3, give it about one to two years, perhaps three years, is going to start differentiating itself. The location itself, it's not where Arabian Ranches 1 is, but so what? Arabian Ranches 1, during its time, was considered far out of Dubai. And Arabian Ranches 3 might be considered a little bit further out today. But guess what? Things change. Things change pretty fast in Dubai. These communities aren't really that far. It's like 10 minutes driving distance further down. We're just a little bit spoiled. So I think Arabian Ranches is going to do... Arabian Ranches 3 is going to perform very well, okay? Uh, Nishan, hopefully I answered your question. Please uh, re-ask if there's something specific, okay? Uh, Ayn, welcome. Zara, welcome. Saadi, welcome. Sahdi, welcome. Uh, Sahdi, welcome. Bekay, Jao Z1, Ahsan, Fawad, Fahad Nawaz, welcome. Isaac, uh, 786, Sanjay Pala, welcome. I've got another question over here, okay? This this question's on... Um, on... Uh, on uh, what do you call this? On YouTube. Okay, what's going on? Thank you for your insight. Very useful. What is your view on Ellington Arbor View at Arjan? So, again, step back a little bit. Okay. Ellington. They're known for quality, but not super quality. But they're known for infu infusing design. Okay. What does that, what does, what does, what do I mean by design? Literal Rose 2795. Welcome design okay so ellington's got this thing about infusing design in their development which is super 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 nice okay uh what happens with with design is it adds that little extra element to the whole scenario with regards to uh, giving that extra push to the community to the extra push to the development now check this out guys Ellington as a developer is already very good. They've done a decent amount of developments in Dubai. They are known to deliver a decent experience. Now, the new development that you're talking about where they've gone into Arjan, you've got to really think about the location a little bit. One thing I would be careful about, just make sure that Ellington is not taken on a project that was stalled or... Uh, was was already being done by somebody else. If it was being done by somebody else, but it was still at the basement level, that's okay. But if they've taken on a project that was started by somebody else, because you see, here's an artist. If an artist is developing something from concept to execution, it's a different experience as compared to an artist coming into a work of art that was started by another artist, okay? Just be a little bit careful around that, all right? I hope I answered your question. So I've got another few questions. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Little Rose2795. Shariar, Shariar Ahmed, Shahid, SBK, Yunus, Sonia, Kuhu, J. Guys, if you have questions, please ask me, and I'm more than happy to answer, okay? Please tell me about Danube, Petals, and Elite. Good project, decent project nothing to really talk about it. it like look the new sells their projects based on their payment plan all right if you're looking for this ultra uber luxury quality there's show about there's ellington but the new it's really about the payment plan the amenities and they've already delivered and so they'll give you a decent building that they've promised you according to the brochure and so on and so forth you'll get it probably pretty much on time and you're getting the advantage of a very long payment plan, right? So it's kind of like asking me, like, I don't know, like, 
this fine dining restaurants and then there's regular restaurants and you know the fine dining restaurant charges 5000 dirhams uh per dinner and the regular restaurant charge you charges you a thousand dirhams and then you ask me like which one's better both have their own value you're just paying thousand dirhams at this restaurant and you're paying five thousand dirhams as the other one right so recognize that Lokwe Nukuleko, I'm new in Dubai and I'm looking to start a career in real estate market and I would appreciate some guidance on how to find employment. Lokwe, who knows? Perhaps God has written for you to become the next rising superstar or the next shining star in Dubai real estate. Listen, it's very simple. Check out some of my early videos on how to start a real estate career in Dubai. There's a few big companies you can go and apply for them. My suggestion is, if they, they know to you, don't lose heart because they're looking for people with experience. If you have experience, they will hire you. If you don't have experience, they'll be a little difficult to get into. Work on your driving license. Uh, try to get a driving license, obviously, or save money so that you, the moment you get hired, you can get a driving license. But then also, while you're looking, look at the little smaller firms who are willing to invest and give you training and mentorship. That's the most critical part. You should really try to learn because that training and mentorship is actually worth more than everything else. That's what you're looking for, okay? All right, guys, welcome. Everybody else who's here, uh, Little Rose 2795, Shahid, I think I'll already welcome them, okay? Sadak, na. Sadak, your question from YouTube, I already, already answered, okay? Suhail Saban, Assalamualaikum Walaikum Assalam. Nationality of Indian Boxes. Mashallah, what a name. The Renanda. Hello. Shahid SBK. Which is the best project to focus on? I don't know. There's a lot of projects to focus on. Give me a few options and I'll tell you which one you might be able to focus. Guys, here's the thing, okay? If you're a real estate agent and you're looking to sell, then which is the best project to focus on? It really depends on your profile as well as the kind of people you can relate with and the kind of people you already know, okay? So... Think about that, okay? If you know a lot of people who can afford projects in the 1 million category, start with that. How do you see the new developers hitting the market? Which new developers? Listen, so in my first book that I wrote about, um, The Intelligent Real Estate Investor, I wrote this in 2016, my very, very clear critical advice to all investors was to stay clear of virgin developers. Virgin developers are developers that come into the Dubai market for the first time. They might have done some development in other markets, but coming into Dubai, they've not actually done sales. They've not actually done development. It's a new market. It's a different market. Everybody doesn't make it. Some people make it. Some people don't. You've got to have a vision, long-term plan, and really stick to that plan. And some developers do that, and they do very well. So the new developers coming into the market, you've got to look at their, ca their pedigree. Where are they coming from? What have they delivered in the past? How deep are their pockets financially? Can they actually finish a project without sales, right? Because it's a, if people don't know you in this market, then you're gonna have a little bit of a challenge selling, right? Do you know, you know, you understand what I mean? Sadakna, assalamu alaikum. What is your opinion? Assalamu alaikum, Daud. What is your opinion on Ellington Arbor View and Arjan? The price is higher than the other developer. Do you think there will be appreciation when it completes? Okay, so you've got to look at, uh, when you're looking at appreciation, you can easily look at Ellington's projects in all the other communities, JVC, all the other communities that they've delivered. They generally appreciate and they're generally priced higher because they put more effort into designing and completing and giving you a great experience. And yes, generally speaking, um, their prices have known to be going up, okay? Iman Trade. Uh, how are you? Okay. Uh, who, who else is asking me a question? Anybody? Any other questions, guys? Please ask me and I will answer now. Okay. So, Neil, Zahid Iqbal, Realtor Saqib, Abdullah Kashan, Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. Is off plan market oversupplied? Your thoughts? Uh, it is what it is. Uh, no, off-plan market is not oversupplied, guys. Listen, we've we've been there, we've been here before. We've seen this before, okay? Where people talk about, oh my God, there's oversupply coming in the uh, off-plan market and this and this. You've got to understand, Dubai is still very young. Dubai is still in in a phase where it attracts a lot of people from across the globe to come here and live here, okay? Uh, we sometimes forget this that Dubai is two uh, four hours flight from four billion people. Of all these countries, if you look around, 
a lot of them want to come and live in Dubai, do business in Dubai, travel through Dubai, come as a tourist in Dubai, so on and so forth. So what does Dubai do? Dubai has this perpetual pipeline of tourists coming in who then choose to sometimes grow a business here, choose to sometimes find employment here, sometimes just choose to come and travel here. So sometimes they want a property just to come in and out, right? You've got to keep that in mind, right? So when you keep that in mind, you've got to understand the whole dynamic. Like if there's 400,000 people looking to buy apartments in Dubai this year, and Dubai is delivering about 200,000, we're going to be in a short supply situation. And we've seen this in Dubai. At the end of the day, guys, let's buy value, buy value, see what, what value you're getting, and then you're okay. What is your opinion, Dubai, the Mac Marine, Maritime City? Okay, good, Maritime City is good. Next place that's gonna come up. It's gonna take some time to come up, right? So we already know this. Um, but it's beach, not beach access, but water view. I don't know the beach situation there. Unisonia, is Airbnb related to real estate? Um, is Airbnb related to real estate? What do you What do you mean by this? Yes, of course, Airbnb is related to real estate, right? So if you're doing Airbnb, you're obviously, uh, you're obviously doing real estate because you're buying real estate and then subletting it uh, short term or you're leasing real estate and then subletting it, right? That's fine. Abdullah Kashan, I'm in Dubai. Want to join your company? Sure, please. There is a link in the, um, there's a link in the, what do you call this? Um, the profile, the bio. Just please apply there. Assalamualaikum. Siti Fajar from Indonesia. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, check this out. What 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 is this question? Let me, uh, let me. Okay, guys, we we we're, we're not on YouTube at the moment, but we'll we'll b there's a, some network issue, but we will upload uh, the live later there. Okay, cool. Check check this out. I want to. Oh, okay, I've lost a question here. Sakib, can you ask me a question again? I think I've lost it. I'm sorry. You're talking something about smaller apartments. Okay, I'll wait for your question, Sakib. If you can ask me again. Okay. Okay, uh, Saki just asked me a question again, okay? So, guys, the other few un under undervalued areas, okay? Don't forget Dubai Silicon Oasis. Guys, here, check this out. Dubai Silicon Oasis is leasehold, okay? We know this. But that leasehold translates into, you got to remember this, that leasehold translates into lower prices. Now, Check out Silicon Oasis. As a community, it's got a lot going for it. What does it have? It has schools inside. It has villas inside. It has a good community center inside. It's got a new community. It's got two community centers. One under construction. I think one's two, two, both of them are complete, I think. It's very central. It's very central to older areas of Dubai. Easy access to newer areas of Dubai. It's very central to if you're working or have a business in Sharjah. With respect to now, because that because Silicon Oasis is not on the radar with a lot of people, this is where you could go in and then find an opportunity. Find somebody who's looking to sell. Maybe they don't have buyers. You can buy it at a distressed price. Find a business model around what you're looking to do. Okay. Same thing with Dubai World Central. Okay. Understand that Dubai World Central is a little bit or underpriced, undervalued right now because it's a little bit far further out from Dubai it's about 40 minutes right but look around that area okay look around that area it's got an airport already operational it's got other developments coming in it's got a golf course it's got a uh, port nearby it's got the expo city nearby it's got the metro that's already connecting over there so wow now Put all of this together and just give it a little bit of time with more people moving in there. A little bit of a mall, a little bit of shopping, a little bit of some adventure and parks and so on and so forth. And you're going to start seeing that that place is going to get a little bit of more attention and then start going up and up and again. Okay. So Sakib asked, uh, buying a small size apartment or usual normal size, now, which is better from investment point of view? <coughs> it depends. See, I'll tell you, like, let's let's look at a small size apartment, okay? Now, a small sized apartment, 
we had some that were uh, launched in uh, in a community community called Collective by Emar, and I think uh, Nishalma's Town Square community was called I can't remember Una Star or something 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 like that. The whole concept was kind of like dorm living where. You know, you've got a program manager who arranges a lot of fun activities uh, for the millennials who are not married, don't li- don't need a lot of space, but they want to have a community in an apartment setting. Like, you know, the moment you go into a townhouse or a villa community, the only people you're generally going to know is neighbors next door sometimes, right? And that's very suited for families. But Imar released this new concept called Collective, which was smaller apartments, like one bedroom and 450 square feet, but then there was this whole, uh, whole. Uh, s- this th- then there was this whole supporting act around it. The building has a lot of game rooms, a program manager that's getting everybody to live together, talk together, wa- have fun together. In this scenario, a smaller apartment is going to be okay. And uh, from what I've heard, uh, collective. The rents are pretty high. They're not very, very low because people want to live there because they're getting a lot of amenities, right? But now if you go and buy a smaller sized apartment, but you don't have anything else going for you, then obviously it's not a great investment, right? You've got to have other things happening for you. So more, the bigger bang that you get for your buck, the better it is. Like, you know, if, if, if I could, uh, but here's the thing. Let me give you a simpler example to understand. Ellington, we talked about Ellington already. Ellington is known for giving design, right? So if I could buy a 550 square feet, let's say, for example, one bed in Ellington compared to a 700 square feet in an XYZ developer who's known for not being extra special, then of course the smaller one makes sense. But if it's this, both are the same developer or the same level developer, then obviously, like, why would I buy a smaller apartment, right? People are going to rent from you. Uh, they're going to want to. They want to want sometimes bigger space and so on and so forth. However, again, it also depends how much money you have. If you've got l- less money, then it is what it is. So hopefully, I answered that, Sakib. Okay, you can re-ask if I didn't answer. Uh, I have five years of experience in banking. I have five years of experience in banking. Nas Aisha nineteen. Operations. Does my experience count in Dubai? Yeah, I guess it would count in Dubai. You've got to make it count if you're looking for a job. Khadija Thames. And not to forget the development of the Silicon Oasis Center. Yes, thank you, Khadija. That's what I was referring to. The development of the Silicon Oasis Center. Is that Silicon Oasis Center now ready and operational? I'm not sure. I've seen it from the outside, so just let me know. Um, That Silicon Oasis Center, believe it or not, was announced in 2013. It's taken some time to get developed. But I'd like to know if it's already developed uh, or not, right? Cool, guys. If you guys have any more questions, please send them in. Uh, the other, A few other more uh, undervalued communities are JVC and Furjan. Have a look at that, right? JVC, again, you got to be careful on how you invest, where you invest. And Furjan, again, it's got a metro station. And it's really coming up very well. Sadakna asked a question. In rental market, do tenant bother about the developer only it matters when selling the property. Good question. Let me explain this to you. Okay. Of course, tenants de- bother about the developer. It's not about the tenant might not even know that the developer is X, Y, Z. But when you buy the apartment, the developer delivers a certain living experience. Okay. The cabinetry is good. The kitchen cabinetry. Okay. So here's a tenant walks in looks at the kitchen cabinets. Generally, the man or the woman, whoever is in the kitchen, more of that family, is going to open the kitchen cabinet. Okay, let's say it's a brand new apartment. Kitchen cabinets never been used. Guess what happens with the kitchen cabinet? They're fresh. They're nice looking. They're clean. He opens them up. He closes them. A okay, right? If it's a good developer, guess what they've tried to do? They've tried to make sure that the cabinets close properly without any of those gaps, without any of those awkward things, without those cabinets being hanging hanging like this. Now, let's say they're a decent developer and they managed to deliver a decent apartment with decent cabinets in the kitchen. Cabinetry, the kitchen cabinetry. 
now you're on tenant number three. So tenant number one lived there for two years, has left. Tenant number two lived there for one year and has left. And now you're on tenant number three. Tell me now how do the kitchen cabinets feel? The kitchen cabinets technically for 10 years should not creak, should not fall off, shouldn't have any problems. But I can tell you in Dubai, by year three or year four, going through a few tenants, those cabinets, if the developer did not use good hinges, they did not l use good cabinets made by a good wood maker or whatever they do, they're going to start falling off. Which means that this time when they come and see, the cabinets don't just look old, smell old, feel old, they don't even fit together. That's making a difference in the rent, okay? Because they're going to look at it, and the wife, if she's got good taste, the man, if he's got good and, they do, and they're willing to spend more money where they live, then I'm going to live there. I hope I answered that question. It's a good question that you asked. but uh, And, and I, I, I'm very happy about that question, guys. Khatija, Khatija asked a question. Khatija says, uh, yes, opened a month ago, but still not fully operational. Thank you very much. Sadak, thanks a lot. Very resourceful. I'm happy about that. DMC is a great location for investment for the person asking about the Mac. Uh, coral reef i think that's the maritime city there you go khatija's answered you guys okay good 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 all right guys listen uh, let's say goodbye for today are we okay any more questions coming in i'm happy to take them on if there's no more questions right now i'm gonna bid you adieu and then check you guys out on the next live listen whenever we do a live uh, the team generally announces it on instagram and uh, lets you know when the live is coming up all right what I'd love for you guys to know uh, to do is if you want to work with us, look, there is a form below in my profile. You can click it and you can fill up the form. If you want to buy a property, you can click the form, click the link uh, in my bio in the YouTube description and you can buy. Uh, you can get in touch with us. Like just fill up the form. All right. Uh, also, if you like the content, please don't forget and kindly um hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. And then if you've got general questions as well and you can't join us on the live, just put it in the comment section and we'll take up the live. We'll take up the question, we'll tag you, and we'll let you know that there's a question waiting for you and there's an answer for you. All right, guys, uh, this is it for me and my team for today. Uh, catch you soon on the next live. Uh, watch out the space. Ciao for now.